In this Photoshop tutorial, I'll show you how to use the basic and AI tools. By using these tools, you can work faster and more efficiently. Let's open up Photoshop and start figuring things out. The first thing we see in Photoshop is the Tools panel. And on the right, there is the Color Effects panel, and there's also a Layers panel. You can also customize and add new layers here. Add different settings to the photo, such as vibrance, saturation, curves, and so on. So let's go through the tools. The first one we have here is the Move tool. We can click here, and this tool will apply or press the letter V. Move tool is a tool that allows us to move our objects. For example, like this. The next tool we have is the Selection tool. We can select the area we need, highlight it, and, for example, copy it with Ctrl plus G. Now we can see that we have this part duplicated, which we just copied. We also have the ability to select circles and lines here. The next tools are the Lasso tool, the Polygon Lasso tool, and the Magnetic Lasso tool. The Lasso tool is like a selection tool. It allows us to select certain shapes like this. For example, we can add a hand separately. To do this, hold down Shift and we can add another selection. To remove this selection, hold down Alt. A minus appears on the icon and deselect what we don't need. There's also the polygonal lasso, which is just like the lasso, but can draw straight lines and thus cut out what we require. And the magnetic lasso, which sticks to the object. We just move it and it selects. The next tool is the Selection tool. We choose the Object Selection tool and we can see how Photoshop selects our object. Okay, now let's create a mask by clicking here and we'll see our cut object. There's also a Quick Selection tool. We can select the area we require like this. To cut it out later, and again, by holding down the Alt button, we can remove what we don't need. Hold down Shift to add more. And then click the mask. So, we have a selection. Here is a tool called the Magic Wand tool, which simply selects an object by clicking on it. But while this tool is better to be used with monochromatic objects. We can also select our object by pressing Select and Subject here. And now, our object is selected. We can also remove the background using artificial intelligence. In the Layers panel, we select our object and click Remove Background. And we're done! The next tool is the Crop tool. This tool can cut our layer, our photo, and make it smaller. For example, if we need a narrow size, for instance, like this, we can cut it and make a photo look like this. Also, in the new version of Photoshop, if you click here and select Generative Expand, then select a larger area. It'll automatically fill it in, and artificial intelligence will draw in what we are missing. Press Enter and wait for the artificial intelligence to process the information. And that's it! In this way, we've very quickly drawn what we require. Also, if we select the Lasso tool, we can draw over it. We can also select the Lasso tool and draw something using artificial intelligence. To do so, we choose a part that we want. Uh, let's do it like this. And write Car here and wait. As we can see, Photoshop has drawn the car. We can select from several options here in the Settings panel. I want this one. Let's add something more here. Let's take the Polygonal Lasso tool and add House here. And we've added a building like this. And that's it! The next tool we will use is the Patch tool. Using it, we can remove some roughness. For example, we can remove a mole by selecting it. Then we move it to the side so that we can clean our skin and remove any inaccuracies or roughness. The next tool is the Brush tool. It's simply a brush. We can draw something or sketch something on the mask here. For example, we can erase the house if we don't need it. Well, I mean, in general, that's all about the brush. The next tool is the eraser. Surprisingly, is used to erase something. By clicking on the right mouse button, we can see different types of erasers. Softness, hard, different sizes, different types of eraser. The next tool is the Paint Bucket tool. 
This is the Fill tool. We can fill the background with a color. And the next tool is the Blur tool. With this, we can blur an area. We don't need it right now, but with this tool, the Dodge tool, this tool brightens objects. If we need to lighten something, for example, we need to lighten up a face, we can do so like this. The Burn tool is a tool that works the other way around. It makes objects darker, you know, it darkens them. With the Pen tool, we can cut out something. For example, let's cut out a house like this. Now, let's close the line here. Right click on Make Selection, make a mask, and we've cut out this building. Another tool is Text. We can choose a color on the top. Let's write Hello. We can set the text alignment to left, center, or right. We can adjust the size of our font, and here, pick the font itself. Here, we can change the color. Now, let's add a shadow to our text by clicking here twice. This opens the Drop Shadow Effect panel. Now, add a shadow. Distance will be like this, size will be like this, and let's add opacity like this. Uh, make another shadow by pressing plus. And here, the opacity must be a little bit smaller and the size is larger. Okay, but I probably want to remove this effect from the Steve name. So I'm going to copy this again and remove the drop shadow here in the text. And in this text, where we have the drop shadow, I'll delete this. The next tool we have is the ellipse tool. There are many different shapes here, and we can draw rectangles or squares. So let's make a shape for this text. Do it like this. And now we round the corners, change the color to white, Let's place it here and move Steve over here. Now we just need to remove the extra text and move Steve here. And align it. And we'll add it to the group, Control plus G for group. Now let's move the effect with the shadow here and like this. I'll probably do it otherwise. I'll make the blue color on the shape and Steve will be white. After all this, we can flatten our image into a single layer with Control plus Shift plus Alt, plus E. We've created a new layer that combines the entire image into one. Now we can go to the camera raw filter. And here we can customize our photo, change it to the way we like. And that's it, we've processed our photo. This is what it looked like before, and this is what it looks like now. Let's take a look at a few more tools. Here we have the remove tool. The way it used to work, you had to select an object like this, and then it would start deleting it. But now, it's much easier. We just need to circle the object. Everything inside is filled automatically, and it is removed. We don't need to paint over something like this to delete it. Let's check how it works here. Let's select the photo like this, and then we wait. The artificial intelligence has removed everything we required. But we have these pieces that we need to finalize, to isolate. That's it. If you like the video, put a like and watch this video. See ya.